Are you looking for an entire 1440p gaming setup for just under $2,000? Well, we've got the build for you, including the GPU, coming right up. Hi, welcome back to PC Builder. I'm Jason. Today we're going to go through a $2,000 full setup for a 1440p gaming PC, including a Ryzen 5600X and the GPU, and we're going to go over that in just a second. But this is a build that's really dictated by the community. I put out a couple of polls in terms of what price point you wanted to be at, what resolution you want to be at, and whether or not you wanted Intel or AMD Ryzen. The vast majority of you wanted 1440p, 144 hertz gaming. You wanted something around $2,000 or so for the tower. I'm actually going to give you the whole setup for that. And you wanted Ryzen 5000 overwhelmingly. But of course, the most important point of all those polls was you wanted more cats. So we're going to give you more cats too while we're at it. Of course, that's what this channel is all about. It's about getting you the best price to performance in your builds. If that's content you want more of, remember to like the video, subscribe, and click the bell icon. It gets you the content you need and supports the channel. With that, let's jump into the build. Let's jump right in the graphics card because I know that's the burning question on your mind. You're gonna fast forward through the whole video unless you find out what's going on with the graphics card. So here we go. I have actually allocated $900 out of the 2000 total in order to get a graphics card that can play games in 1440p, modern titles. Now, why have I allocated so much of the budget? Because that's the reality of the market right now. I'm not gonna go through everything that we've gone through in previous videos. I'll leave a link up above why things are so bad right now and when are they gonna get better? Hint, not soon. There are a couple options though. We're gonna squeeze the build in other areas and the setup in other areas in order to make sure that we can get the graphics card we need and we can get it now. We're not gonna wait for six months. So the first option is you can buy a 2070 or 2070 Super, often used but some new like the one I'm looking at here from a reputable seller for about $900 US at, at, in the US with about you know, 10, 12, $15 shipping on top of it. I would strongly recommend uh, a 2060 Super, a 2070, 2070 Super. Any of these cards are gonna be really fantastic. Just make sure you buy one from a reputable seller. Alternatively, if that doesn't work for you, we of course can go with something like uh, an RTX 3060. Now, yes, this is from somebody who's selling this as a scalper. And let me just put a caveat in here. I'm not telling you to go buy from scalpers right now, but I am pushing pause on the judgment button if you want to go out and buy a card because we've been doing this for seven months. Let's just get real. We've been doing this for seven or eight months now. We tried to hold the line against the scalpers. The whole community tried. Of course, I'm going to continue to urge you to use Newegg Shuffle, you know, uh, discords and other things in order to get something at MSRP. But if you're just sick and tired of that and you want to get gaming, these are also some options. With the graphics card out of the way, let's go to the gaming platform. For 1440p gaming, if you didn't see my best CPU for gaming, I'm going to strongly recommend the Ryzen 5 5600X. Now you can get it right now over at Amazon for $300. It's coming in and out of stock, but they are now allowing you to just go ahead and pre-order it. So something like this, you can get it in stock on April 18th, or you can buy it from Newegg or Best Buy immediately. Um, all three of these outlets are currently carrying it. It is a really fantastic processor. If you do want to upgrade, I would recommend going to the 5800X, but the 5600X is plenty for gaming, absolutely plenty. And you'll be able to get maximum frame rate out of any modern graphics card all the way up to the RTX 3090. Let's talk about the motherboard. We're gonna go with the MSI B550 Tomahawk. What do I really like about this board? I like the audio on it. It's got an ALC 1200 codec on it. It's got a rock solid VRM on this thing. You can put anything up to a 5950X on this and overclock the heck out of it. So go to town on your 5600X. It's got the two included M.2 slots, um, both of which have heat spreaders on them. Overall, just a really phenomenal motherboard. If you don't like the Tomahawk or it's not on sale anymore when you go to buy it, I'll put some other ones, links down in the description. The 
B550 ASUS Tough Gaming Plus is a great board, about the same price. The Eorus Elite, another great board. However, that one tends to, tends to be sold out right now and completely out of stock. So we're gonna go with the Tomahawk. Let's talk CPU cooling. Now, yes, you could of course go with the included Wraith Stealth cooler that comes with the Ryzen 5600X, but testing has shown that Ryzen 5000 will really push the boundaries of your cooling and you can eke out, even at stock, you can eke out a lot of additional performance. To me, it makes all the sense in the world to invest 25 measly dollars to upgrade that cooler to something like the Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim CPU cooler over at Amazon right now. This is your standard six heat pipe medium sized Finstack single fan cooler. There's Gamex 400 is another option. The uh, Hyper 212 is another option. I would just get the cheapest one of those and be happy. Some of them come with LED lights on them. Some of them co come with addressable RGB. Knock yourself out with that. We all know that RGB increases FPS. It's just science, absolutely. So don't hesitate to get one of those. But for our build today, we're gonna go with the Be Quiet for $25. For storage, we're gonna go with the Silicon Power A60. We're gonna go with a 512 gigabyte drive here. You could certainly go with an M.2 drive that's one terabyte instead and spend a little bit more money. We're just gonna go with 512 to get ourselves started today. The reason we're gonna go with a drive like this that doesn't have DRAM, but has a really good HMB, host memory buffer process, is that we're just gaming here. If we're doing super heavy read-write intensive tasks, productivity tasks, we might think about upgrading the drive, but honestly, for a gaming PC, we just, need good enough because we won't see the benefit of any additional dollars spent on performance. We would see the benefit if we want to spend more money on the total volume of the storage and get a terabyte, we can put more games on there. But in terms of the load times for the game or any kind of FPS increase, it's just not going to happen. So this is a great budget option. For the case, we definitely want to bling it up in our build. We're gonna go with the BitPhoenix Nova Mesh S-E-T-G-A-R-G-B. What does all that stand for? It stands for a cool looking white mesh build with four ARGB fans. And I love this about this case. It includes a controller on the back of the case itself. So it actually comes with it built in. You don't have to daisy chain them all together and then put them, plug them into your motherboard. The controller there, plugs into your motherboard, making the, the cable management for this thing super easy, barely an inconvenience. Comes with, again, the great mesh airflow, which we're gonna want for our 5600X if we wanna really crank that up, especially if we wanna crank up our graphics card as well. So for just $67, we get eight, four ARGB fans, a great looking glass case with a power supply shroud I don't really think you can beat that. For the power supply, we only need 600 watts for this uh, build. So we're gonna go with the Cooler Master MWE 600 watt uh, modular 80 plus bronze. This is a unit that I pulled off the, of course, the Lions Tech uh, Tips PSU Cultist list. Not much to say about it other than it's $75 over at Newegg. Now that we got the PC built, let's go through the rest of the setup, starting with the monitor. Now, of course, I just did the best gaming monitors of 2021 video. Check that out. And in that video, I named the Samsung G5 Odyssey 27 inch the best budget 1440p monitor at $270. However, that video has done really, really well. And unfortunately, it seems to be sold out almost everywhere. It is still here at B&H. So if that's the case, let me give you the alternate that I actually had to cut from that video for time. I had to cut all the alternates because it was getting long. And that is the AOC CQ27G2, which is a 27 inch super curved frameless monitor. This is a really nice panel. It's it, like the Samsung. It's also a curved VA panel. It doesn't have quite the aggressive curve. The Samsung is more uh, like a thousand curve. This is 1500R, one millisecond, 144 Hertz refresh rate. It's got free sync. I really like the, the height adjustable stand on this. And every Buddy who has reviewed this monitor says it is a phenomenal monitor. Honestly, for $260, now that the price has come down just a little bit on this, I would have probably, if I had done it again, 
This may have been my go-to and the Samsung may have been my alternate, but you cannot go wrong with either one. Of course, in order to play the best games, you need the best peripherals to do it. You need an amazing mouse and keyboard. And in particular, if you're gaming, you want a mechanical keyboard if you're playing uh, first person shooters like Call of Duty Warzone and others. So I'm going to go with a Havit mechanical keyboard and mouse combo. This is an RGB combo. It looks really slick. It's super highly rated mechanical keystrokes. The mouse is also a very highly rated one. You can do better, of course. If you want to spend a little bit of extra money here, you can definitely upgrade. However, for just $50, you're getting something that's going to propel you into, you know, the core of 1440p gaming, either in uh, AAA titles or in first person shooters. And continuing our theme that RGB increases FPS just because it's science, come on. We're gonna go with the Havit RGB gaming mouse pad uh, as well. I just decided to pick one out by the same uh, maker as the keyboard manufacturer, so you, the logo and everything all matches. Certainly, there's a lot of white RGB uh, mouse pads and mouse mats out there you could go with, but for $32, this is a pretty well-rated one, and honestly, it looks slick. For the headset, we are gonna break with our all-white theme here, just to keep the cost under $2,000 total or around about there. We're going to go with the Steel Series Arctis One Black. $40 over at Walmart right now. One of the higher rated budget headsets. Really phenomenal speaker sound, really phenomenal microphone on this thing were some of the things that reviewers pointed out. And overall, very, very comfortable to wear. Not much else to say about it other than for $40, you could do a lot worse with a lot of headsets, and this is one of the highly rated budget ones. So that is the 1440p $2,000 complete setup build, Ryzen 5000 that you asked for in the polls, and CAT as well, right? I really hope you liked the video. If you did, remember to give it a like. I will include all the links, of course, down in the description if stuff runs out. I will check the video at least once a week, and I'll update the, the deals down there. Of course, subscribe for more content like this and subscribe if you like the cat. And with that, we'll catch you on the next one.